Hello guys, in today's video we are going to be talking about the materials that was added in Block Suits Update 17 Part 3 and the relationship with the highly secretive, highly anticipated, supposedly added Race Awakening in Block Suits Update 17 Part 3. So without further ado boys, let's get straight into this video. Alright boys, I think now is the time to get you up to speed. So, in Blocks with Update 17 Part 3, I think most of you are familiar, they added materials that you could use and get from NPCs to get certain stuff such as Soul Guitar. You needed a couple of materials for Soul Guitar. God Human, you needed a lot of materials for, soul, for God Human. And to upgrade certain weapons, you needed a lot of materials to get certain weapons. To upgrade certain weapons and even for the cursed dual katana you needed to have six of those all card fragments that you got from quest in order to get the cursed dual katana and my theory is that these materials are somehow connected to race awakening but how they're connected to race awakening is what we do not know yet now i do have this sort of theory going on that there are certain materials in blocks foods that you get and they have a connection to race awakening now, I'm not saying that this is going to be the second part of the quest where the materials are the solution to have enough strength to move the lever. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm simply saying is that this materials may be down the road along the line part of a different step of the quest. Similar to how in the unlocking race v3, you needed to first beat Don Swan, and after that, for each and every single race, the quest you have to do was different. Remember how if you were a mink, you needed to collect 40 chests, and if you were a Skypean, you needed to kill another Skypean. And for cyborg users and ghoul users, it was different. Now, another point that I wanted to point out is, remember with the race v3 quest, most of the races actually needed to have beaten Don Swan before they could advance their race from v2 to v3. I think Ghoul and Cyborg are the only races that did not need to beat Don Swan. I think they actually still needed to beat Don Swan before they could get to v3. Now, the reason that I'm bringing this out is because I think they're doing the same thing with race v4. I think the lever is a part of the quest where every single race will be the same, but the next part of the quest will be different for each and every single race. Now let's go take a look at some of the materials that was added in Bloxfoot Update 17 Part 3. They added Angel Wings and Yeti Fur, Radioactive Materials, Scrap Metal, Ectoplasm, and Bones. Now if you go ask me, Angel Wings are probably going to be for Skypean, Yeti fur, maybe for minks, I don't know. Radioactive material and scrap metal, maybe for cyborgs, I don't know. What I do know is that these materials will have a use down the line. I think that they are probably going to be using them for upgrading and stuff like that. Angel wings currently is not used to upgrade any weapon as far as I know. Yeti fur is not used to upgrade anything as far as I know as well. So it's very possible that Yeti fur could be used to upgrade Minx since, you know, Minx are furries after all. So yeah, I think that's going to be it guys for this video. For the next video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at the One Piece anime to maybe take some clues in the anime. I know that in the anime, there's only one race V4 or one race awakening, which is the Mink, Consider it, which coincidentally also happens in a full moon. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to One Piece and maybe look at some hints where a character or a few fruit is or a place is related to some time magic or some time powers and stuff like that. So yeah, um, without further ado, I will be ending this video now and support my other channel guys, the Radi the Religious Gamer. I'll be covering God of War Ragnarok which will be coming out in a few hours, actually one hour from now it'll be coming out. And I will not be able to make a video on this channel for a while while I focus on that. So if you guys are enjoying this video, visit me on The Religious Gamer to see some more content, guys. So see you guys in my other channel and see you guys in a, maybe one week when I can post again on this channel. So thank you guys for watching and peace out, boys.